Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider and I am still wrapping up things from CES and let's look at the best gear for Apple users. Start off with one of the most hyped items from the show and that is the Withings U-Scan, which is nearly an at-home urinalysis lab. Basically, this device here clips onto the bowl of your toilet and as you use the restroom, it will scan your urine and can tell you different things. So there's three different pods that can be placed inside of the Withings U scan. This one here is for women. It can help track things like ovulation cycles. Each of these pods comes with a hundred tests in there, so three months of usage. There's also a general all-purpose health one and a more professional focused one that doctors can kind of tell you to check out if you need to. Then we have Pepaminto. This is a smart mattress topper that interfaces with your Apple Watch. So directly with Apple Watch here, but it's starting off with single beds. It'll eventually be coming to the US. And the idea is you can go through your Apple Watch. You can tell it how you like your feet to be, how you like your upper body to be. And then it'll monitor your heart rate through the night to see how you are sleeping. And then can adjust the temperatures at different places throughout your bed based on what you're telling it. And then the next morning, it will quiz you again. How was your night's sleep? Were you hot? Were you warm? Was your torso too warm? Were your feet too cold? Anything like that, and it can make adjustments for the next day. At the J5 Create booth, there was another really cool thing I saw, which is this 200 watt GAN charger. So this is a wall charger and it has six different outputs, but it also supports USB-C PD 3.1. With this updated version of USB power delivery, it can deliver between 140 to I think like 200 some watts. And in this case, they are rating two of these ports for 140 watts, which means they work with Apple's latest 16-inch MacBook Pro. At the Hyper booth, there is this really awesome looking metal enclosure for an SSD. So you just slide your drive in here and it's all done toolless. So you don't need to have a tool. So if you want to swap your SSD media, you can do that. And it even comes with this really nice looking silicone cover, which increases both its water resistance and its durability for drops and traveling with you. I love this. I think this is incredible. This is by far the coolest SSD enclosure that I have stumbled upon. They usually require like little hex tools to remove. These are these like little spring-loaded bar bearings so that top just pops right open. Put in your SSD, snap it back shut, add on the cover if you want, and you're good to go. Another big thing, especially for Apple users, now to the show is Qi 2. So at the Wireless Power Consortium booth, I got to check this out, which is one of the early demo devices for Qi 2. Qi 2 will essentially bring MagSafe to Android devices and other devices that get certified by the Qi standard. So here, this is a prototype unit from Skosh, and you can see at the bottom, we have a charging battery pack that just charges via pogo pins. We have a MagSafe or Qi 2 charger there on the top and a little puck for your Apple Watch there on the left. These are AirPods art skins. And again, I just think this is super cool because people want to be able to customize their AirPods and there's really no way to. So these, they really are just decals, stickers, low tech solution, I know, but they came up with this amazing way of and putting them on. There are these little clips and then you just clip your AirPods in and they wrap around. Cause unlike a traditional sticker, there isn't like, you know, a, a crisp edge or corners. They are very kind of just natural looking and they don't feel like a sticker. It almost feels like they're painted on to your AirPods. It works with regular AirPods, AirPods 3 and AirPods Pro. I think these look really cool. They were great in person and I love the applicator system to put them on so smoothly and easily and make sure they're properly aligned and everything. Just they did a great job. I moved over to the Rolling Square booth. If you remember from last year, I checked out the Air Cart, and it honestly never made it to market. Rolling Squares blames manufacturing woes for that delay, but now they have two new version of Air Cart ready to come to market that work with Apple's native Find My app. So the first card is the Air Card E. This thing is all metal, metal on the front and the back, though there is that little plastic cutout where that signal comes through, that Bluetooth signal comes for sourcing it. Now the battery in here is actually user replaceable. There are three CR2016 uh, batteries and you just open this up with a little kind of lock there at the bottom and put new battery cells in there. Then there's the regular version of the Air Card. 
and this one is my favorite. So it has a glass front, so 9H hardened glass on one side, and there is an NFC tag on the other side. So you not only can you use this for Find My, but it has a digital business card applications as well, so you can scan the QR code or tap via NFC to pull up links to your social profiles or whatever it is. Ring has some cool stuff at CES this year. This is their all new dash cam. I believe they're calling it their car cam, but the Ring dash cam or car cam. Essentially, it is a front and rear facing camera for your car. You have Amazon's assistant built in so you can hands free record things, but it can also detect things like accidents, collisions, and people tampering with your car. Because they're both front facing and rear facing cameras, it can catch somebody breaking in and capture all of that footage for you. It mounts here towards the lower part of your uh, windshield, mounts in very easily, 1080p recording recording a really neat offering from ring razor has a lot of gear but the one that i was really excited about was the keo pro ultra webcam this is just a beast of a webcam and they have thought of so many little details it looks very similar to the other keo cameras the keo pro uh the keo like exercising with like a ring light built in but this version has a massive sensor and can record at up to 4k it has great bokeh on it there is a tripod mount but it'll also work with nearly any monitor just outside of the box for on the go stream and filmers you can use an actual lens cover to protect the lens but while you're sitting at the desk it does have a privacy shutter built in you just rotate the lens around and you can see all those little uh, blades kind of like bayonetting into screen turn on that privacy shield so you can always feel safe that you have a camera perched up there very easy to use plug and play both on Mac and PC and I really do think this looks great there's some good bokeh here for a webcam you can see this little bit of demo footage it comes with a braided USB-C to USB-A cable but there should be no reason a USB-C to USB-C would also work Hyper, which was acquired by Targus uh, a year or so ago, has a new backpack, the Hyper Pack Pro with Apple Find My Support. So this is a 22 liter backpack and has a ton of tech built inside, but we're starting with the Find My that is built right here into the top of the backpack. It is on the outside of the backpack, so that way when the speaker goes off and you're trying to find your bag, you can still hear it versus putting it on the inside. There's a ton of pockets, really great feeling material on the outside, super durable. Uh, I think water resistant zippers on this thing. They're also security zippers. When you open up the front, you can see all of the pockets here for your chargers and cables, really good organization. And you also may notice that a cord coming through on the front down here, it actually routes to the inside. And behind that panel, you can tuck a battery pack. So this is actually the 245 watt battery from Hyper itself. And you can run three cables, one to the front, one to the side here for like a MagSafe puck for on the go charging, and then one even here through the back to power up your iPads or your MacBook Pro. Your Mac also is levitated, so if you dropped the bag, it would actually protect it from hitting the ground directly. And again, it all works with the Find My app. I am a sucker for a great standing desk, and this is the Ergo Flex Desk that seems pretty cool and has a lot of unique features. So first, just a great looking desk, and there's tons of different styles for you to choose from. You can control the desk here on the right hand side, it tells you exactly how high it is, move it up and down just by pressing this lever. There's also security features or safety features so it wouldn't fall down on a child or a dog that's sitting underneath the desk, but it can also go quite low. There's a drawer on the front, it is felt lined and can even be locked using the companion app. There's up to a 100 watts of fast charging from the front left of the desk, including three USB ports and one type A port, but you shouldn't use them for your phone because there's a built-in wireless charger in the back. Not only is there a charging pad, but when you place your phone down, it will open up and rotate to face you so that you can actually see your phone while you're working. Over at iAudi, they have the new Velix Elite line. So the Velix is their line of kind of wireless chargers. They're very sleek and nice, but these new ones are fully MagSafe certified and they have active cooling to prevent your car or your phone from overheating in the car. So while you're navigating, it will not overheat and it makes it even faster than standard MagSafe chargers. OtterBox has new cases and I'm telling you people are going crazy for these things. These are the new Otter Grip series. So they're the uh, symmetry case from OtterBox, but they have integrated a kind of a pop socket like mount in the back. It just pulls right out when you need it. It can rotate a full 360 degree, keep your fingers in there, hold onto your phone, and when you're done, you just push it flat against the case itself and you can still use MagSafe. So any MagSafe charger, MagSafe battery pack, MagSafe mount can all be used, but you still have a built-in 
in phone grip. Super cool, and there are tons and tons of styles already becoming available. So if you want any of these things, definitely go check them out. Ember has been around for a while and I'm loving their new mugs. They have a new version of their popular car mug that adds find my support. So you take the mug with you, you can get left behind alert. Hey, you just left your mug inside of the studio. You just left your mug at the coffee shop, whatever it is, but you're never gonna be able to do that again. Samsung has some new monitors and this is my favorite. This is the Samsung Viewfinity, I believe S9, and it looks super similar to Apple Studio Display. It's a 27 inch 5K monitor, has a bunch of other really cool features in here aside from this great look and feel. I mean, you have a metal stand that looks kind of similar to Apple's super slim metal uh, display itself. It looks great and it has a matte display by default with incredible viewing angles. On the back, it can clip in a high resolution, I believe 4K, slim fit webcam which is higher resolution than apples and you have all these ports hidden along the back so you can connect a bunch and including daisy chain two of these on supported systems they can deliver i believe i think up to 100 watts 90 or 100 watts of power to your mac and has this built-in smart calibration feature using the smart things app oh this will also work um i believe with like their tv software which is also neat but going back to the calibration using smart things you just hold it up to the display and it'll flash a bunch of colors it'll record them using the camera and then calibrate the display as needed for the room that you're in and then when you're done you get a calibration report that shows you all of your accuracy all of your hdr results just everything you need to know uh, for professional usage of this monitor. Depending on where the price point ends up, I really think this is going to give Apple Studio Display a run for its money, uh, especially with prosumers that maybe want to save a little bit on Apple's high-end display and who love the matte finish without shelling out the extra money for Apple's nano-etched finish. The Neutrogena Skin Stacks. So these are 3D printed dietary supplements. There's a seven layer process for these. They are printed on demand based on your actual needs. They come in these individual packs for each person with your name on them and they are all modified based on what you need. It is amazing how these things, they were demoing how they were printing these. Apparently they taste very good. They're built using pectin, not gelatin, which makes them vegan and they're even sugar free, but they're not using uh, aspartame or anything like that. I hear they taste great, but I'm not tasting the ones that have been sitting out all day, but you can see how your makeup is here based on a little kind of um, a report that you take before ordering, and then you just get monthly kits of these showing up in the mail. You pop one every day, you feel great, personalized just for you and your skin care needs. This is the from Tempo. This is an at-home workout station that is very cool. So this can live next to your television, has all of your barbells inside. They're all color coded so they can be scanned using the companion app. So the companion app uses the true depth camera system on recent iPhones to create a 3D view of you as you're working out. It'll go ahead and play content on your television. And then as you're working out, it'll sync with your Apple watch, show your heart rate on the screen and adjust your workout in real time based on your performance. If you're doing really well, maybe they'll increase your reps or increase increase the amount of weight that you need to use. And of course, it syncs back to all of your Apple Fitness rings. Garmin this year had no new wearables, but they were showing off their dash cam live. And unlike the ring dash cam, this thing is upgraded with a higher resolution sensor. This has a screen and a 1440p sensor, so you can actually view your footage on the camera itself. There are physical buttons to do things and voice controls, so you can do it using their own built-in assistant. I think overall that's great, and the higher resolution is a big deal because you can actually see things like license plates a whole lot clearer with above 1080p resolution. Still 140 field of view, but for me, this is really cool. It can be pulled off using a magnet from your dash, just an overall great dash cam. Then the STM Goods, smarter than most backpack. Another one of my favorites from the show. They have a bigger version of this bag. This is the slim version of it. And I think it looks so great. A lot of little details like these metal touches along the back, tons of padding, uh, sternum strap, and it can slip over your uh, luggage. So you can just slide over your luggage and carry it around the airport so you don't have to put it on your back. There's a little holder in the top, which is my favorite, especially on a flight, because you can put things like battery or snacks in here but they won't get like smashed in the rest of your bag. They have really nice kind of quilting along the side, these expandable pockets to put massive water bottles in there. But I love the fact that you could open this from the top or from the side so you can access this side view and easily get into your bag um, and access anything that you have in there. 
or again, open it from the top. More pockets going to the back. There's a laptop pocket that is elevated so it won't hit the ground. Overall, fantastic backpack from STM. So stay tuned. I got a lot more coverage coming from CES 2023.